hey, let's figure out the probability of taking a red number cube and rolling it and seeing either a 6 or, whoa, or a multiple of 2. Hey, it's my lucky day. So how do we find out the probability of rolling a 6 or a multiple of 2? Now, when you think of this naively, you say, oh, or, maybe we should add. But these are not mutually exclusive events, because by rolling a 6, I'm also simultaneously rolling a multiple of 2. So if I, f if I find the probability of rolling a 6 and add it to the probability of um, rolling a multiple of 2, that's going to, in some sense, be too large, because there was overlap. So how do we deal with that? Well, these are called inclusive events. And the way we find the probability is to say that the probability of something or something else happen when, in fact, they're not mutually exclusive. We take the probability of each and add them together, and then we have to subtract off the part they had in common, which is the probability that both happen at the same time. <coughs> Excuse me. So in this case, let's take a look at the question. We want to first of all find the probability that we see a 6 or a multiple of 2. And so these are, in fact, inclusive events. And so what do we do? We find the probability of 6. We add it to the probability of seeing a multiple of 2. And then we subtract off the probability of seeing a 6 and a multiple of 2. All right, so let's figure this out right now. So what's the probability of seeing a 6? Well, there's 1 in 6 equally likely possibilities. So that's going to be 1 6 plus, what's the probability of seeing a multiple of 2? How many successes are there? Well, there are 3. There's seeing a 2, a 4, or a 6. So there's 3 possibilities out of 6. So the probability is 3 over 6. And then we have to subtract off the probability that both of these happen, that we, in fact, see a 6 and a multiple of 2. Well, to see a 6 and a multiple of 2, it's got to land up 6. And so that's going to be 1 out of 6 possibilities. And so I subtract off the probability that they have in common. That's the probability we counted twice. So let's subtract one of them away. And what do we see here? Well, in fact, we see the 1, 6 minus 1, 6 is 0. We're left with this 3, 6, which is 1 half. So the probability of rolling a 6 or a multiple of 2 on a number cube turns out to be exactly 1 half. So that is the probability. Neat stuff.